Well, welcome back everybody. Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background, getting a shop fan going, just circulating some air. Uh, so I'm in the shop and got uh, another issue with the 920, nothing major really I don't think. Um, just something else I come across. Um, can't really complain too much. This is an original part and the mower has um, 1200 and almost 1250 hours on it so can't complain too much about uh, original parts breaking from now on really <laughs> so uh, just my opinion and what this is I'm gonna turn the camera around and then just show you the part and then show you the problem and so on and so forth so here we go so this is the rod that connects the deck assist pedal to the uh, bracket right here to release and be able to lower the deck and obviously raise the deck up and lock it back in place so I noticed yesterday um, that the deck seemed a little harder to get to release when the pedal was pushed down it was actually pushing basically all the way as far as it would push in order to be able to release the deck with this knob and got to looking at it today on the first property when my father-in-law was on the mower and he was having trouble getting the deck down so I walked over and was just looking I thought maybe it just had too much play in it because this does have some play in it um, but I've checked the factory and they all have a little bit of play where the pedal just kind of has a little bit of slop in it and never had an issue with it before until now and as you can see right there it is split and it's over halfway through and you can see where it's kind of bent which has basically stretched it out um, and this is the piece that goes through that hole right there in that bracket and one of these little small pins flashes through right there so uh, got it through today did two properties today before we got rained out so um, not sure if I can weld that but with it being as old as it is and having that much stress been put on it I'm going to check and see what the dealer cost is and it's not too bad probably just buy a new one throw it on there maybe adjust it up a little bit and uh keep rolling so i said we got rained out this evening there's some more rain coming through so i figured i'd go ahead and pull this in the shop and get this piece off and shoot a little video let y'all know what's going on so uh got some footage before this from yesterday I've got a uh, first yard that I did and kind of got in a bind on the second yard so I didn't have time to actually get good footage on it so I just got that one yard I may try to edit this and throw it in there so maybe you'll get to see that beforehand with a shout out in that footage as well from yesterday and uh, yeah hope everybody's doing doing good know uh, Jay and his wife and Jay's Crazy Cuts we'll shout out there um, been getting a ton of rain and I think up before today we've gotten about seven inches this week here uh, it's really made the grass jump which is a good thing sometimes it makes it a little aggravating I know y'all know anybody who's in the business keeping up with everything but that's the nature of it I guess for lack of a better term no pun intended so I got all my stuff here in the shop just in case it's, it's supposed to rain some more this evening but it's supposed to clear up tomorrow um, which is Sunday here and typically I try to avoid doing any work unless I fiddle around maybe with some stuff at my own home uh, but I may end up going out tomorrow afternoon and maybe hit the yard or two just to kind of help catch back up uh, got a number of things going on and I'm going to do a video here soon talking about what's been going on and what's started 
I've uh, mentioned it in some previous videos. I've, I've had a lot going on. Uh, so I'll kind of go over and explain what's been going on in recent months. And uh, hope y'all enjoy it. So let me know what y'all think. Has anybody else ever had this problem with a different machine or this particular one? Um, if so, did you weld it? Uh, did you just go buy another one? Uh, anything like that? So. All right. Brand new link rod installed. The pin's back in it. Attached to the foot pedal. Everything's ready to rock and roll. Let's go cut some grass. Well, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the uh, photos of the property from today and uh, the footage about the repair on the John Deere. So it's a pretty simple fix. I uh, just had to locate the part. Uh, one of my two local John Deere dealers, one of them happened to have it in stock, so I didn't have to wait on it. I uh, just had my father-in-law pick it up while I was at work and uh, just threw it on there when I got back. Uh, pretty simple, just... Uh, uh, 90s threw a bracket on one end and you slide a pin in it and then it has a uh, large pin that goes through with a uh, cotter pin that slides through it and hold it in place on the pedal end uh, so got that back on there it's working great uh, had the deer out actually is, is uh, what was used on the property for the photos the finished photos that you see so the deer has cut that um, didn't get any footage on it was in a little bit of a hurry to start with but uh kind of got a little a little behind just on the time the grass was a little thicker uh so we had to double cut some areas i'm saying my father-in-law helped me out and uh yeah so got one little quick thing here for and i wrap i'm gonna wrap it up but just a little little story of that property back there is uh you know it's always something you just with the mower part breaking but Hey, it was the original part. Can't complain about that. Um, but I was uh, fueled up my trimmer, um, a 94R, before I got started. And uh, was getting close to taking a break. I had to trim up one side of the driveway. And I uh, got about a third of the way up. And uh, actually, it ran out of gas. So that, that tells you how much trimming I had to do. Um, and so I just I walked back up to the truck. I said, I'm going to take me a little break. So I took me a break. I was some Gatorade. Uh, about a uh, 10, 10 minute break. Just kind of sat down in the shade, cooled off. Because uh, it's it's muggy, really bad. And um, yeah, got done with that. Uh, my father in law had to go do something. So I hopped on the mower and finished mowing. And what I did was I, I filled up that trimmer, I put it in the rack since I had been using it. And I try to rotate my trimmers, my 294Rs. So I got the other one off. I had fueled it up. Um, and so I walked back down the driveway, which is probably a good, oh, I don't know, 80 to 100 yards to where I had to start trimming at from the truck. And um, started trimming and probably trimmed 20 or 30 feet down the side of the side uh, the driveway and uh bumped the the head to let the line out and slung the line out run out of line so then i had to just turn around and make that walk of shame all the way back to the truck uh spooled up the trimmer head put some new line on it and uh finished it out so then i just got done i had to go pick up some gas for the mowers uh one of my local stations has non-ethanol plus mid-grade uh, that's all I run in my equipment. Uh, mixed gas, everything is, is off of that. Uh, and that's all I've pretty much ever run in, in my stuff is non-ethanol gas. I have run some, some 87s, some regular in there. Um, but usually I'm looking for the 89, 90 uh, rating. So, and then actually just went and gassed up my truck as well because I was down close to a quarter of a tank. So, try not to get it any lower than that. 
But before I ramble too much, I want to wrap it up. Just a couple quick um, uh, add in uh, some shout outs to uh, once again Kevin with Long Care Juggernaut. Uh, check his channel out. Um, he's still got stuff going. Uh, if there's a way you can help out with uh, his brother's wife, Jamie, his sister, uh, battling cancer. So share videos or donate if you can. Uh, Kevin, still thinking about you and praying about your brother. Uh, hope Jamie's doing doing all right. And um, uh, Mr. Gerald Greenley with Clean and Green Lawn Service. Uh, check him out if you haven't yet. Subscribe to his channel. Um, check out um, Big Sons Lawn Care. Got some good content on there. Really nice guy. Does, does good work. Country road, take me home. Yeah, I'll stop saying. Um, and just that's just a couple of them to uh, to check out. And um, again, I know that's something I've, I've shouted out before, but uh, I'm just trying to support a few channels here and there. So I hope y'all are. Uh, enjoying the content thank y'all to all my new subscribers I've gotten a couple new ones one or two new ones recently um, kind of slowed down a bit but that's okay um, I know I've slowed down on my content just got a, a whole lot going on um, and so I'll try to get into that in a, in a video here soon I know I've been saying that but um, there's a big project going on so um, we'll get into that and kind of just let y'all know why you know some of the videos have slowed down and things like that but try to put something up every once in a while and uh hope y'all enjoying it uh, i'm gonna stop rambling and again hit that subscribe button down in the corner one of the corners there and uh y'all be safe out there be kind be blessed and we'll catch you on the next one thanks y'all